Hi, Dr. Kevin Zorn here from BPH Canada, home of our Aquablation Centre, uh, surrounded by my team here. And uh, we've already done some demonstrations of the technology at conferences to show other urologists, but we thought, let's show you, the viewer, the patients, uh, the family members looking at what is this technology, how powerful is it, how precise is it? So come over here, I'll show you our design. This is how we map out. Uh, and again, this is just a phantom area. We're gonna be actually treating uh, a potato. We've actually uh, placed over here into the handpiece. Uh, this is what would be placed through the urethra, locked into uh, by a secure arm, into the prostate area, into the bladder, all under ultrasound guidance. So on this image, we see real time what we're doing. We plan it exactly and I kind of made kind of an awkward shape here, uh, simulating this is our bladder. This is the beginning of the prostate with a tapered end toward the bladder, a cut, very linear, and then to bring it up into the butterfly zone and to make sort of an awkward shape to see, is this what we're gonna get in a potato? And it will be impressive how precise this treatment will be in this potato. So once we've designed out what we wanna do, we're gonna go ahead and get started using pure water, heat-free treatment with laser precision. So we've already mapped out how wide we want to treat and like a windshield wiper, this will open up. So here we go, we're gonna activate, we'll plus our plus button, which will allow now the motor to drive forward a very thin tube with a sapphire crystal opening at the end. And with that, water will be coming out at over 8,000 PSIs to obliterate tissue as deep as 2.4 centimeters. So you can think of that as a radius. That's how wide this prostate will be open in a matter, and we'll see here, in four minutes. So we can treat prostates of any size, not in hours, but in minutes. So you're gonna see here, this is the device, there's no movement sitting in place in access with the urethra. There's no, you know, potentially, this is where the patient's sphincter is. There's no traction, there's no, uh, uh, mechanical stretching that could cause some incontinence after the procedure. And as you hear, the sound's getting more powerful. The pump is now at 85%, and there's our time. That's how long it's going to do to create exactly that shape within the prostate. So, this is it. This is what we're doing with that precision. And if we're not happy, we can use these buttons to increase or lower the intensity of power. Or if I'm not happy, I let go, I adjust, we continue. So, unfortunately, we don't have any ultrasound, so I can't show you, but you can see here, there's not much to see because it's motionless. The only thing that's pulling back is with the undersurface here. There's a beam of water being pushed through at over 8,000 PSI through our pump. And that's connected over here at the base of the aquablation robot. And you can see here, this is how powerful it's coming back now. And our angle of our sweep is actually, I made it to 225, kind of like a three quarters of a, of a pizza. And it's pushing so hard that we're getting up to that level. As it's coming back to our, maybe like two centimeters away from the edge of our camera. So the length of treatment is up to seven centimeters. So we'll have a dissection of this potato very shortly and we should see exactly what we see there. So for the patient, what does this mean? We could be deadly accidents and avoid all structures that can cause incontinence. Uh, really getting a much smoother opening quickly, getting the patient off the table and allowing for much quicker healing because we're not burning the whole area with heat. So this is a heat free treatment. Um, I mean, quick, you know, we're doing this in less than five minutes of treatment. In general, we do two passes to really get the best outcome, the more durable. And because now we tapered, you see here this red area, and that's called the butterfly cut. So what is happening right now? The robot is only going to drive energy toward one side of the prostate. So if I could use this as the prostate, the motion's been pulling backward, and once it gets near the end of the prostate, that's near the sphincter, that's very important for men for ejaculation. So we want to protect, there's a duct at the bottom called the vera montanum. Well, guess what? We don't want to injure that. So all the energy is being put now toward the patient's left side. It's sweeping. 
And once it gets near the end, which you'll see right here, it's we can see real time with that yellow bar, it's coming back, it'll hit the zero point. The robot will push back to the others to the beginning of that red area. That's the butterfly. Here it says, please wait. Left apricot hook cut is in is being initiated. So it comes back exactly where it was and does the treatment on the other side. So again. All that's going to be done through this potato to be a mock of what a process will look like. And we're going to see what kind of defect we get in five minutes. And this can be done anywhere in the world, reproducible over and over. Unfortunately, when you do a turf or you do other techniques, you don't always get the same outcome. So, um, you say individual or between individual doctors, we're going to get very variable outcomes. With this, it democratizes BPA surgery. So, new technology has been around FDA approved since 2018. It's called the Aquablation. If you look, like to learn more, come to bphcanon.com and you can learn about you know the technology, the technique, the outcomes. Um, and here we go. So we're coming to a completion in 20 seconds. My plan is this will take out the potato and I'll get a little knife and we'll slice it open and we'll see what we did and does it match that, uh, that defect that we've done and to see how clear and cut um, uh, the margins are. So rather than the shaggy edges, we're gonna see a much more cleaner uh, defect um, and for the patient, this means quicker OR time. We can do more cases in the day if we're limited by anesthesia time. So there we go. So it's done. Technically, in cases, we'll do an additional pass. I can adjust and I'll just go ahead and show you what that would look like. And will look at the potato. So I'll go to, let's say we're going to do an additional pass. It mocks up what we've done so far. I'll hit continue. And again, this would be with an ultrasound image of what the process would look. And if I wanted to, you know, make adjustments, Again, this is where the surgeon comes in and using imaging. So it's really an automated AI technology. We're telling what to do. And this is a executable robot that does what we want exactly. So from surgeon fatigue, I could be on my first day of my job or my last day before retirement. This outcome will be the same. So here we go. This would be something I would want to create. And it tells me how long it's going to do that treatment. And then I would hit next and move on. So. For the sake of interest, let's go ahead and look and see what we've done. So to unlock, we'll unlock our magnet, the handpiece. And this is a single use handpiece that would be one person. It's not used between other people. It's not like laser fibers sometimes cleave between patients. I'll go ahead, thank you. I'll just go ahead and pull out. Just a quick view of what that looks like. Here's our handpiece. That little tip right at the end of my finger is the sapphire opening that that high pressure water looks like. Maybe we'll do a video after and show you what that looks like. But Dr. Zell, my, my colleague here, yeah, the best anesthesia around. So um, can we be a... Yeah, a pointless. It's going to be pointless, absolutely. Go. So okay. here it goes. So that is our... Uh, uh, so come on over here. I'll come to the back table. Uh, this was our potato where we had our scope come through. Uh, that was our center point. As you can see, rather than being dead center, it was up on the upper end. And since my design, if I can borrow a pen, in axis, so this is a potato, and how I drew it, here's my axis, was like this. So you saw on the TV screen before our defect, but that maximal rotation back and forth is 225 degrees. So technically there's some leftover tissue, we'll use a loop and get that after. So let's see did we create that? So I'll go ahead and slice this mid pr uh, prostate, and we should see exactly that kind of a defect. So I'll bring another knife, maybe if it's not finished. Yeah. 